Go on then. <laughs> oh. Oh gosh. <sighs> And stand. Good boy. A real dodgy loader there, Charlotte. This is my ten pound car wash sponge. Isn't it girls? All the girls. All the girls out together. Go on, live get the leg over. Yeah. Hi there. Well, this is a little bit of a different sort of video, to be honest. Uh, and it's based around Charlotte. Now, Charlotte, for people who don't know, Charlotte's my daughter. Uh, she, I always think of little Charlotte, but she's 34 now. So, uh, you know, time did not fly. But Charlotte is the reason why Steve Young Horsemanship began. Although I've been doing horses for since I can remember. I, um, really, for us to get sort of known, Charlotte started coming out with me and filming me. Charlotte had a break from horse. She was horse mad when she was a kid. Uh, she had a break, you know, like a lot of girls do and the boys and whatever. And she got back into it and she's just like she's just as mad now if not more than when she was a kid on horses uh, which has worked worked well for me really to be honest but charlotte came filming me and the rest is history in that what two years we've become quite quite well known now uh hopefully very popular with, with, with a lot of people um and i'm i'm convinced that it's more more to do with charlotte than charlotte will give herself credit for uh, Tanya thinks the same. Charlotte has got a way, you know, a great way about her. She's very, very, very genuine, very much family orientated. And, you know, what you see is what you get with Charlotte. Char Charlotte <laughs> tells you as it is. Um, and, and, and that's the way she is. And if Charlotte says something to you, you know that it's from her heart. You know she's not pulling all over your your, your eyes. She's she she that that's that's how she is. Uh, you know, uh, obviously Dan's Dan's her partner, who's a farrier, uh, which has worked well. <laughs> I've always said to Charlotte, that's one of the best gifts she gave me. Uh, but yeah, he's our farrier, and we look after him, obviously. Um, but you know, me and Dan have got to a stage where we're close enough that I can't, I can't say boo to him now, to be honest, because if I ever say, come on, Dan, you, and he just looks at me now and he, he's comfortable enough with me to say, you're just like your daughter. <laughs> what can I say to that? And I do, I always, when, it, when he says that, and he says it quite a lot to me now, uh, I always think of the book Brandon quotes. He's actually says it in, in, in the film. Uh, Buck the movie. If you if you ever haven't if you haven't seen that, you know see that that's a brilliant movie. Uh, and I remember him saying uh, that uh, Riata. Uh, uh, people say Riata's just like your dad, and uh, he, he he made the quote. Well, what's the downside in that? <laughs> so I always think that. But no. And what this video is on our subscription site. But guys, you see lots of stuff. It's not just the subscribers, you see a lot on here, but it's a more in-depth and I work very hard with the subscription site with the youngsters and, and that. But um, on the subscription side, I asked a question, all right? I asked a question, would anybody like to see Charlotte do a, a weekly blog? Because Charlotte's left me now. She She's not far from here. She comes most days and helps me, uh, but her horses are, are not here. Well, while Molly's gone, because I haven't got the room and I've got other horses coming here. Molly's gone and uh, Darcy's over the road here at Jane's, but we'll be going as well shortly. So I asked uh, my groups, does anyone, would anyone like to see Char Charlotte do a weekly blog? Uh, you know, we didn't know what to call it. I said, and if anyone's got an idea of what to call it, then, um, you know, have an opinion. 
So I was shocked, guys. Uh, so many people. It was one of the posts where it just went crazy. Yes, we want to see Charlotte. We want to see Charlotte. Uh, and there was all sorts of different um, suggestions for names. And the one that was most pop popular was Charlotte Shenanigans, right? So she's very busy, Charlotte is. And people, you know, I always think, why why, why do you want to get off all the time, Charlotte? Why, why are you always in a rush? I, did, I watched the first one. And now I know why she's in a rush all the time. And I, I got to a stage where I, I, I'm looking forward to these, to the next one. There's only one been done. I'm looking forward to the next one like anyone else because I'll just watch them when they come on. Uh, so that's what it is, guys. With no further ado, this is number one of Charlotte Shenanigans. What you doing, girls? This is your last little snack together for a while. Isn't it? Hello, pretty girl. <laughs> Hello. She's like, where are you going? Uh, why'd you walk past me? That's it, Charles. So you're off? You're off. <laughs> you're leaving me. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. Molly's off to her new place only over the woods only over the back there charlotte be coming in most days to help me and little Darcy is still over the road charlotte yeah there's not a stable yet there's not a stable yet so well, she's quite keen she's pulling me to the lorry oh right she wants to go she wants to go somewhere she thinks she's going out she thinks she's going out somewhere uh, let's see how hard she is to load a real dodgy loader there charlotte yeah. Eh? She was. Dodgy loader. Do you want to grab that? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. We are going down the track. We've just turned off the road. Molly Moo is in there. I've done a stable ready for her. It's got a hay net in, but I'm going to put another one in. It's got three buckets of water. It's got her minty lick. I've got. A, we've both come up because I've got a car full of feed and supplements and rugs. She is in there and she is ready for her new stable. Go around the lump stab. So you've really got to stick to the left here. Gosh, it's a bright sunset there. I'm watching you, Dad. Stick to the left. Oh gosh, I'm in the four wheel drive, so that is fine. Oh my gosh, we can really bounce it about, but. anybody else here oh there is another car somebody is riding colored horse oh he's beating me to it What's get him moles out okay my moles she's excited <laughs> oh she looks so pretty doing a pose. <laughs> strike, strike a pose, there's nothing to it. Boom. First one, oh, you're stepping away. That's only my stuff, I'll do it now. <laughs> oh, that's your lovely stable. All new. I haven't seen this, huh? Yeah, my new mats. Wow. And look at that, that. Where'd you get that big A net from? Um, wow. Oh, Three buckets. You've had all my buckets. My buckets. <laughs> my buckets. Okay, oh, good. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask. see a lot of Oh, there you go. It, She's she? just. Um, She'll have a wee. That's what she does. Um, I'm going to ask if I can take that what? stuff down so what? she can see the next horse. Oh, really? That's a good idea. Good girl. Oh. You'll have to show me what you, where do you want to put this? You have, have you put the best halter as well? No, that's, that is her halter. Is it? Mel bought me that, yeah. <laughs> is that your clip? Yes. So can I put that there? Yep. Let's check what else you brought. All my stuff, thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's going to have a nice wee there. Good girl.
So Molly is out in one of Liv's fields, turned her out, decided to gallop, she didn't realise there was a little electric fence there and just slid quite wide legged about 30 foot. So just having a little walk around, I can see that all of Molly's poos from yesterday are along this fence line. So she didn't want to leave Gwilly. There's her super slides from yesterday. Super slides. Aren't they Molly? Are you okay? Right. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to show you, you've just seen um, Molly on the Tuesday morning that she was out in the field and she was, I was showing you obviously her corner that she went. This is Tuesday. Liv messaged me. Um, she'd obviously just gone. I think she was getting them in, actually. Yeah, she went to get them in and she messaged me saying, what do you make of this? I was like, what do I make of what? She sent me these two photos. So yeah, that was Molly stuck on the in, over the top of the electric fence. So no, the electric fence wasn't on, uh, but I was there. Uh, I'm currently sharing a field with Liz because they haven't given me my exact field yet. But yes, I said, Molly, she won't go anywhere near the electric fence. Even when she was running towards it and she saw it, she slid and she didn't touch it. But she decided to stand over it and Liv said, I think she's been there for quite a while because there's a lot of poo around there. But that was the corner that I'd previously shown that she'd been in anyway. So, yeah, that was uh, that was Molly standing over the electric fencing. Um, and she said, well, she'd be all right for me to, you know, try and get her out. But I knew she'd be absolutely fine. You could just stand on the electric fence or you could lift her leg over um, and she would have been fine. Molly just having a nose in everyone's field. Morning three out. Look, no mud. Oh, she's having a look in that one. Good girl. So this morning, Molly's been turned out on her own um, because Gwilly isn't ready yet. She's looking for him. Good girl. There we go. So we just come in to smash the eyes. There we go. And just check the electric fencing that Molly was caught in yesterday. Put that back up. Well, she got to the electric fencing before me. And she's now in that field. Silly girl. Right, so we've got the head collar on now and we are walking back to the oh she wants to see some friends there. They're not in the field, Moles, they're not next to you. Say hello. Someone is not happy. <laughs> she just went to walk at the electric fence and I told her, no Molly. Ah uh ah. -uh. Don't be silly. Come on. I'm going, Moles. Oh, oh God. <laughs> That's the electric fence in. That's the electric. <laughs> Molly, there is electric fence there. Oh. <laughs> I wanna be with Gwilly. Oh, it looks really nice in pictures. We'll be turning that on in a minute, Molly, if you're going to keep being sassy. Okay, so I'm double videoing here. So I've just done Molly, just turned Molly out. And now I've come to video Dad and Chevy and Dad and Jimmy. Haven't we, Dad? We have. It's another blooming cold day. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just walking over to get Darcy. I've um, just got to help Dad in five minutes' time with the babies just do a little bit of videoing so mr darcy's in this field which is lovely for him you can see 
The other's over the other side. Okay, Dada. He's got a little turn out as well. Oh. I'm going to take Darcy's. There you go. Probably going to get in trouble for that because I was multitasking. He didn't keep his head by me for very long. Oh my God, are you actually serious? Hmm. Yep. Turn you down and go the other way. He does look very nice stood like that, doesn't he? You going the other way or are you going to... No, he's going to have grass. Okay. Oh. oh. He started before me. Well, so much for warming up, Das. So he is acting like he's never been in here before, but he comes in here about two or three times a week to have a little walk around. Walk on. Good boy. Oh, or not. So I try and get him to walk around about three times each way. Air trot. And then I come to a few times. Like, Daddy, I have got a flag with me. Oh, okay. Someone's happy today. I'm so gorgeous. I literally have not even shown this flag yet. And he is exercising himself. Okay. Trot done. Trot done. Good boy. Good boy. Trot done. Don't know if you noticed, my voice is. Darcy. Trot done. My voice is still a little bit funny from when I was poorly at Christmas. Not as loud as I normally am, which. Good boy. Trot done. And walk. Good boy. And stand. Good. Oh, that's a lovely stand, Ars. Let's have a look. Good boy. That's a nice little. Oh my gosh, look at that. See? Walk on. Good boy. But we're going to do a little change of direction. So I'm going to swap my. Good boy. Walk on. On. Darcy. Trot on. Good boy. No, we're still going the other way, Darcy. Still going that way. And trot on. Good boy. Jasmine's first ridden lessons off the lead. Hold on, Jasmine. Trot on. Good boy. Trot on. Wow, that's a fast trot, Das. And walk. Good boy. And stand. Good boy. Go on then. <laughs> oh gosh. Good boy. And easy. Oh. Gonna follow? Good boy. Oh. I need to get down. Das, with me. Come back. Good boy. You follow it? Good boy. Good boy. Hey, oi. Somebody once messaged me about swirls. And there's a saying, if your horse has two swirls, they're a bit of a psycho. <laughs> but I don't know. Hey, good boy. And trot on. That's better. Good boy.
Raz. Ok. So he's following me around now, which I'll do for about a minute. Hey. Hello, Molly. Hi. Right. Ready, Liv? Oh, what are you doing? Oh. Run on, you think he's out of the bush? <laughs> Go on, Liv, get the leg over! Yay! <laughs> Good girl, Molly, me. You went too far, guys. They're carrying Molly's dinner that she didn't eat. Oh, everybody else is gonna want that food. Good job. What do you think of those wellies, guys? Are they good? You and we don't have a knife, gents. I can't do it. You still doing it? Okay, good morning. We are on day four. Turn out day four. Aren't we moles? Good girl. She's very excited. Come on. Oh, what have you seen? Hey. Let's see, we still haven't got our own field yet. Um, Owen had a big inspection on the farm. So I'm still sharing with Liv at the moment. So guys, some of you might remember Liv. So Liv has got the whitest gray in Pembrokeshire. She also has Brinny. But here, she's a pro leader. Go live. Is this all the girls? All the girls. All the girls out together. We've got retirement liveries. We've got Liv's own horses. We've got normal liveries. And she's off. Girl power there. Okay, so I've just come for a little trip down. I'm just gonna explain where I am. So I'm at a place called Mallard's Reach. So when I moved Molly this last weekend, I decided to join Riding Club, which is basically like a grown-ups pony club, um, where lots of people get together and they have a lesson once a week and then they have special clinics put on. So this is where I was booked and was gonna join um, a lesson. It was Arena Eventing, it's Mallard's Reach. Um, but obviously Molly went lame, so it was my first ever one and I couldn't go. So I've just popped down and they said, pop down, have a cup of tea and see what's going on. So I'm just doing that. Oh gosh, there's Jane who lives across the road from us. I'll see if I can get a little video of her. I'm gonna be in a little bit of trouble. I've uh, that mum just said dad's been waiting for me for like an hour. But I went to uh, that Moor Farm place. No, not Moor Farm. Um, I went to Mallard's Reach this morning for that um, riding club um, clinic to watch. Oh my gosh, I was just chatting. I tried to leave like five times, but there was more people I was talking to. So um, yeah, he's probably in a bit of a strop that I'm late, but I'm here now, I'm following. So I've just come to video dad. Just come to video dad doing a little ride on Nita. Sure. Okay, slightly different background setting now. I've just ran downstairs because I can hear the spaghetti bolognese burning. Um, I'm just waiting for Dan to get home so I can go and get Molly in. My goodness. I have just come to check the water. What have you done, Chevy? That is 
V. <laughs> the muddiest I've... Oh, I just, I just can't even explain how, how muddy you are. Oh my God, it's like... It's like thick, thick mud. Oh my goodness, you're disgusting. What's the other side look like? Oh, not as bad, but you've definitely had some serious, serious rolling. Oh, so have you, but you don't look as bad because, because you can't see it but you still oh my goodness oh. <laughs> he actually looks like a colored horse he actually looks like a paint that's crazy i better go and check this water no no wheel spinning live so i've just got to the yard i was supposed to be here at half past five but dan but dan i was supposed to be yet but dan was back late um so Liv, Liv is in a quick time. Right, by the way, Liv hasn't got a license. <laughs> she is driving her mum's beautiful car, um, but we're only on the uh, only on the farm, so we're fine. So yeah, Liv said, Charlotte, we're in a bit of a rush. Jump in. We're going to grab the horses in the car. So I've never ever done this. Liv is going to be teaching me. I bet Molly's never ever done this. Um, so yeah, update in a minute, guys. Okay, so we're just walking to get them. Okay. We're in. Steady as an eddy. Not that slowly, no. obviously. Come on. <laughs> okay, keep going. Bit faster. Wow, Moles. Next time I think we need to take the parcel. Come on. Take the parcel okay, shelf up. That's <laughs> speed. Wow. Okay. Oh, they're just seeing who's in there. Lots of ponies. Okay, we're on. Day five, morning five, Friday morning. Not quite the same beautiful, fresh, bright day as yesterday. Yesterday, Molly was naked. Today, she's in her big winter rug again. Hey. Oh, Jimmy boy is actually sleeping. And Nita, are you having a little snooze as well? Are you having a little snooze as well? Oh, hello, snuggles. Okay, so Mr. Darcy's coming in, having a little bit of exercise, aren't you, Darcy? It's very yucky weather, so it's quite hard to get motivated today. But we're going to have a little round pen blast. Dada, let's go. Uh, does anybody else's car boot look like this? Now, this is actually quite tidy for me. So I've got Molly's tacking there. I've got Darcy's tack down there, which I need to take home and clean. I've got hat, Jazzy's wellies, new, not new, no, Lion Lion, uh, clean saddle pad and girth, high vis, uh, new thing taking the cats, oh, actually the puppies to the vet on Thursday for their jabs. Um, feed, always feed. So yeah, just thought I'd uh, say you're not alone if your car looks like that. So what I'm doing today, it's Friday. I've been and let Molly out. I've mucked her out. I've free lunged Darcy. And I've just driven to my friends who lives about 30 minutes away, but there was a diversion, which was really stressful. It took me about 50 minutes. Um, I'm gonna go and ride her little girl's new pony so she can ride her horse because she's going out on it tomorrow and hasn't been ridden very much so charlotte my friend lives on a dairy farm so all the cows are in there and um, so yeah i'll give you a little update in a second so this is dallas charlotte's new pony that she's bought for summer he is only three and a half aren't you and charlotte absolutely loves him um so yeah she's just gonna bring him on ready for summer but i'm gonna ride him today bigger than mr darcy so we're okay isn't it pretty boy so here i am on charlotte's three and a half year old baby pony being an absolute angel charlotte's in front on her 
Horse B. I wanted to show you the beautiful view, but it's a bit of a rubbish day. Uh, but we're strolling down to the beach um, just to see. So you can see the sea view that side, sea in front of us. Chloe, what's Dallas going to think of that sign? I've only got one rain. We've got cars going the other way. Is that a scary sign, Dallas? No, nope, not bothered about the sign at all. The skies look a bit stormy. This little pony has been an absolute angel. First time off the lead rope on the beach. He hasn't looked at logs, he hasn't looked at stones. We've been on all different ground. And I've got hardly any reins. We've walked, we've trotted, we've cantered, we went in streams. We went in the non-wavy part of the sea. Absolute star. Right, Char, see if he'll go through the bollards on the beach. See what he thinks of that. Picking the kids up in jodhpurs and riding boots. <laughs> Are you ready to come in, girly? Oh, you're not supposed to be in that bit. That's the alleyway, isn't it? <laughs> alleyway? <laughs> alleyway. We're having a lovely... There are two horses in that one as well. Oh, that naughty pony shouldn't be in that field. That cheeky pony, that socks, he gets in there every morning. Keep going, Jazz. Grilly wants to give you a kiss. Keep going. He's a naughty boy. No, he's a very good boy. And say, oh, that's our field, Jazzy. Ready? Right, you're gonna help me, Jazz. Where's Molly going? Here you go. Oh, that's Livy. That's Liv's bucket. We'll bring that in for her. What's Liv's? Liv's Is bucket. That Liv's pony. That, uh, yeah, that's Liv's pony. Hello, pretty girl. Come on, Jazz. So I had planned on just coming to um, free lunge, Mr. Darcy, again. But as I got him in, Dad said, oh, should we go for a ride instead? So, tacked him up, my favourite pads. Dad's there just sorting his girth out. And we're going for a little stroll on Mr Darcy. So, Mr Darcy is going to be having his bath in a minute, aren't you, darling? So, this is a... Um, shower system it's actually not an official horse shower it's just like a camping shower um, attached to a wheelie um, hose coming off it this is my 10 pound car wash sponge in the gas literally works amazing all over, hot shower, bubbly bath.
So this is a tail bag, which I'm going to put on Mr. Darcy now. Horse hoods. Um, that I have bought and it's going to keep his tail clean, hopefully. Okay, so that little bag that i just shown you, I've just plaited, not a proper plait, just so it keeps all the hair together, all the way down, popped the plait in the tail, a tail bag, and just put a little bit of elastic, which then Velcro's on there, which should keep his tail poo free till the morning. And it does. These rugs as well are absolutely incredible. So um, it's called a Thermatex rug and it's really, really good for drying them. Uh, but they are really, really expensive. But once a year, they have something called a second sale where you just buy, you don't know what color you're getting. All you know is the size, so that's S for seconds. Um, and they send it you. But instead of about 250 pounds, I think it's 80 pounds and they just last forever. They go in the washing machine. Uh, but yeah, really, really recommend a Therma, Thermatex rug. Molly's came and it was black. Darcy's came and it was green with burgundy. But yeah, really like those. Charlotte, where are you going? The gate. Okay. <laughs> Naughty Olivia. Stop. You're a naughty pony. You're in the wrong bit. So, very cool Saturday night for me cleaning tack ready for Jasmine tomorrow. So she's got her saddle here. She's also got one of these um, squidgy bum pads. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely incredible. They do do them for English and Western saddles. Um, I know Mel bought one for a Western saddle. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a pony saddle, which Jasmine's got for. She's got her strap to hold on tomorrow. Um, stirrup leather's ready for me to put on. Um, her stirrups, so these are called safe style syrup, stirrups, or oh, I haven't cleaned those yet. Um, and most safety stirrups, the, the bendy bit would be on the outside, but these are made that the bendy bit is on the inside and they look like normal stirrups on the side. So yeah, they're really, really fancy. Um, safe style did actually send me a pair of these for, for free to try. Um, and, you know, I've only mentioned them because I genuinely, genuinely like them. Um, so yeah, they're Jasmine safety stirrups. So getting ready for tomorrow. So we've made it a week, Moles. We are day seven. I don't think we're going to risk it yet. But yeah, I think they'd be absolutely fine. All right, Moles, Gwills, have a good day. Hmm. <laughs> are you ready? How are you doing today? What are you going to be doing? <laughs> Mommy. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hello. Where are we going today? What are you going to be doing? Woo, which one's going to be your favourite jump? <laughs> the pink one. Where's the pink one? And the purple one. Where's the purple one? That's the last one. You have to go fast over that one. So we've just got on, haven't we, Jazz? Yeah. We're going to do a little bit of warming up? Yeah. Are you going to do good? Yeah. Going to go trotting? Yeah. Jumping? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, Jasmine, you got a red rosette? Yeah. Were you, but we were the only one there, weren't we? Yeah. So it didn't matter that we weren't really fast? Because yeah. you don't like going really fast, do you? Well, 
Go on, Das. Look at him go. Wee. <laughs> hey. Oh, Jasmine, you got a pussy cat, Bella. Did it follow you? Wow, girls, you've got lots of sweeties and you've got a new, a new friend. What's your new friend called? Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Yay. Oh, <laughs> it's, not. it's not a, it's not a picture. It's a, girls, have you had a good day? Yeah. Are you eating lots of sweets and chocolate? Yeah. <gasps> Do a nice smile. Oh. <laughs> So this is pretty much how every pony morning ends up. <laughs> Absolutely flat out using her crafty pony Darcy as a pillow. Mr. Darcy is quite okay in there. Hopefully she'll stay asleep for me to do everything because it is way quicker to do it on my own. Okay, so Mr. Darcy's out. Tack is out. Princess Jasmine <laughs> is still sleeping. Perfect. <laughs> Jazz, are you hungry? No. No? no. Got Mr. Darcy? No. Okay, should we go into Nanny's? Get warm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's it. You're done for the week, Das. Back to it tomorrow. Maybe we, maybe you can have a, da a day off tomorrow. Look at that muddy face. He went in and rolled. Oh, I bet he's going to wee on his hay now. Oh no, where's your ear gone? Where's your ear? <laughs> okay, so you've been horse riding all day. Yeah. Now you're the real Princess Jasmine. Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, Jensen is a army man, I'm guessing. So that was Charlotte Shenanigans number one, guys. And uh, you know, if you do wanna, if you do wanna see see more weekly, then obviously it's the subscribers channel for that. But uh, yeah, um, we're off tomorrow now to Essex. I've just finished getting the lorry ready. Oh my God, there's a lot to sort out to go to a, events, the events we put on. Uh, so we got all ready now, and we're off at five o'clock in the morning. And then uh, wish us luck, guys, because uh, we set all up tomorrow. This is in Essex. Set all up. Then we've got the big day on Saturday. Touch wood, hope everything goes all right with that. They are live, so you just never know, do you? But uh, you just go roll with it. And, uh, yeah, see you soon, guys. And uh, we'll probably do a blog of that, actually, because I know I've got a couple of difficult horses for the afternoon. And we'll do a blog and put some of that on here. And then it's back to going out then and trying to help a few more horses and people. So as usual, guys, happy trails. Like, share, uh, comment if you can. And uh, yeah, ciao for now.